Hey guys, it's science time. Today we're going to revisit our environment book. We're going to be on pages 20 and 21 today. We're gonna to be reading about the living ocean. For our fun activity after, we're actually going to be creating an ocean food train, chain all of, on of our own. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The living oceans. Food chains in the oceans, like food chains on land, begin with photosynthesis in green plants. Most plants in the sea are microscopically small, but there are so many of them that they sometimes color the water. These tiny plants float within six, about 600 feet of the surface where there is enough sunlight for photosynthesis. Waste and dead matter sink slowly from this sunlit zone and provide food for marine organisms in the darker twilight zone below. No light reaches deeper than about 3,281 feet. And food is scarce, but some animals survive even at these chilly depths. So I'm gonna bring you in close here so we can look at these depths right here. We have these ocean vents. So deep sea vents. Vents in the ocean floor release hot water containing hydrogen sulfide. This chemical supports a special food chain of bacteria, worms, and fish in extreme depths where there is no sunlight and no photosynthesis. Animals such as sea cucumbers and worms live in the ocean trenches to about seven miles below the water's surface. <clears throat> Take a look on this side. We've got your sharks, we've got your whales, some jellyfish here. So most animals such as the killer whale live in the sunlit zone. So that's where the sun reaches. Then we've got these arrows that show a simple ocean food chain. Cause right here, we've got our microscopic plants called phytoplankton. Um, and if you guys remember this word for the synthesis that we talked about a few days ago that plants use since these are microscopic plants, they use photosynthesis to make food, so they use the sun's light to make food. Then we've got tiny animals called zooplankton. They feed on phytoplankton. And then we've got our marine organisms that are below the twilight zone, so it's gonna be like these little eels and these little guys, uh, anglerfish with the lights on them. And the whale is right here that eats these little microscopic plants and zooplankton. So food for whales, krill, are shrimp-like animals that form vast shoals in Antarctic waters, providing food for many whales and animals. <clears throat> Some whales, such as blue whales, swim through these shoals with their mouths open. When a whale's mouth is full, it squeezes the water out through special strainers and swallows the krill. Uh, and that is basically what we're reading today. So, the living ocean. And what we're gonna do is create our own food chain. And I'll show you. All right, guys. So for our ocean food chain, we're actually gonna look at a few terms that we're gonna use in this project. But we have to have a predator, so I'm gonna use a shark. It's gotta eat something, so we're gonna have some large fish, then we're gonna have some fish larvae and small fish. We're gonna have phytoplankton and zooplankton and the sun. So what you guys can do, you can either do this in a drawing or you can cut and paste like I'm doing. So I created a shark for our ocean food chain. So we know that our shark is a predator. I am a predator. So that's one of our words that we're using. <clears throat> and I'll zoom in on this after it's complete. So a shark, the first thing that that is going to eat is a big fish, right? Or a large fish. So we're gonna put our large fish right here because that's the first thing we eat, large fish. Fish. Now, what does that large fish eat? Well, that's going to eat fish larvae and fish that are smaller than it. 
So we've got our fish larva and small fish. So we're gonna write that in, small fish larva. Now what do those guys eat? They're gonna eat something even smaller. So our phytoplankton and our zooplankton. So we're gonna put these guys right here. So phytoplankton. And zooplankton. And some of those zooplankton. I'm gonna put an arrow because they're gonna eat the phytoplankton. Because remember, like when we talked about plants the other day, that's where the smallest little bits of energy are gonna come from. Like when we talked about our bunnies yesterday, um, our rabbits eating the plant life. And now we're missing just one thing because if we have phytoplankton, which use photosynthesis, we are going to need the sun. So we'll put our sun right here. And I'll bring you in nice and close so you guys can see. So we've got our sun that feeds our phytoplankton, our phytoplankton feed our zooplankton. Both of these feed our small fish larva. And our small fish and our fish larva feed our larger fish. And then our big predator, such as a shark, eats it all. So you end up with this cool little art project right here. And it's kind of just a fun way to see a food chain. Anyways, I can't wait to see what yours looks like. Great job.